Okay, so we're here with Steve Wildshot, coach of the Morningside Panthers. How are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. Yes, good to meet you, Sean. Good to be here. Yeah, looked like a little bit of a solid session out there. The boys are working hard. They've, yeah. uh, they've really adapted well. Uh, we've increased in the last couple of weeks, looking forward to playing some games. So, uh, yeah, no, tonight was a good session. So what's the off-season been like? Sort of gruelling uh, challenges like uh, a lot of other clubs? Yeah, long and arduous. Um, I understand the mechanics as to why the, we've got a late start to the season. It doesn't mean it's easy on anyone. Um, we've been going since uh, mid-November, so it's a long, long time to be doing a pre-season. Longer pre-season than in-season. Um, so we've had to work through peaks and troughs to keep the boys active and, and accountable and enjoying themselves. But, uh, you know, I think everyone's really looking forward to this next phase practice matches and then get Easter out of the road and get into the real stuff. Anyone burning up the track at the moment that we can keep our eye on? Uh, yeah, really good question. I think um, we've been really conscious over the off-season. Uh, the Morningside culture and the tradition has been not to necessarily go outside of the box and recruit heavily. Um, so I've been really pleased coming into the club that everybody seems to grow. Uh, and in different nights we've had kids from the 19s or guys who played reserve grade last year really standing out. Um, and then, you know, that, that puts the fire into a few of the older guys who bounce back and then you notice on the track the following night that, that they're the ones standing out. So, not at the minute, not to put one finger on anyone. I think um, collectively the group's really growing, which I'm enjoying. Um, they take every session, learn from it and adapt to it and, uh, and putting it into play in the next one. You mentioned a strong um, Morningside culture, which is a really good thing. Um, what, do you, what would you say that the brand of footy that you guys would like to be known for would be? Uh, I think we'd like to just be relentless at the contest and regardless of the scenario of uh, the school board in the corner of the field is doing, that we'll be conducting ourselves the same way. Um, spoke about that culture, I mean as an opposition player back in the day and then as an opposition coach, uh, always had the utmost respect for the Morningside Footy Club and how they went about it and they've been a club over the journey that have maintained the level, um, so which has been really, uh, really pleasing and for me to come in I've, I've enjoyed being on their side of the fence uh, and seeing how they go about it. So you mentioned a little bit that there hasn't been too much done uh, in regards to changing of personnel and that type of thing. Have you tinkered at all with the game plan over the off-season? Yeah, we've actually come in with something different. That, um, a bit of my background as well. Um, so I brought a bit to it. We had a camp where the players were able to put a bit into it as well. I've um, been really conscious of giving them a say and some input. Um, so collectively we've all worked together and we've come up with something that hopefully we think will stand the test of time over the journey and, uh, and stand us in good stead for the, for the year. So where did you head off to for the camp? Uh, we went to the north side of town, took them on the north side, of, so I actually took them over for some culture. Uh, a few of them had to get a passport, which was a bit difficult, but no, north side of the river, we went uh, trained at Strathpine in the morning, went to uh, Camp Warrawee out at Petrie, um, and the, we went through everything. It wasn't, uh, it, wasn't educa it wasn't all educational, it wasn't all physical, it wasn't all bonding, uh, it was a, you know, an amalgamation of everything, and the boys really bought in. Uh, they got to choose their leadership group while we were away on the camp. They got to have input in the game plan. Um, and we, yeah, we really collectively worked well together. And, and the last couple of weeks have shown that, which has been good. That's really good. Um, round one? Yep. Coming up against uh, Palm Beach Crumbin? Yep. Bit of a challenge? Oh, utmost. We've got the uh, grand finalists in the first three rounds. Uh, we've got uh, Palmy in round one, and we've got Labrador round three, and uh, Wilston Grange in between. So. And Grange have got new facilities, new coach, um, they've excited, they've recruited a few as well. So those first three rounds is going to be very hard work for us. Um, but Palmy, they look like they've recruited really well. Uh, they, they were a benchmark all year last year by the last game of the year. Uh, and I think they will be the same as will Labrador in round three. So yeah, round one we're itching for it, but it's, it's, um, it's a short season. Uh, eight home, eight away games. Uh, we just need to be able to focus week in, week out. But yeah, definitely looking forward to round one. Fantastic. How are you going at Morningside in terms of young talent and talent development at, the, at this moment in time? Really good question. That's the culture of the footy club. Uh, and it's been great to be a part of it is that um, we don't actively go out recruiting uh, and I won't compromise the history or the culture of the club to go and do that. So we're really building from underneath and I'm really, really happy with uh, the Colts kids coming through. The reserve grade guys won the grand final last year. Uh, so we've got a fair bit to work with there and we've had a good, good, good amount of depth and the guys are really doing their part and I'm looking forward to developing everyone. Well thank you very much for your time and all the best for round one. Thanks Sean.